Hello everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch from Twitter and also on StockTwit, Zozo Stockwatch is the handle. And I'm just going to go over some quick uh, trades that I did this morning. Uh, the first one, which did not work, MTBC. Um, I was looking for, you know, an, a move kind of pushing up again like it did, uh, you know, the other days in the past. And um, I thought if it got over uh, 227, we'd get a push, you know, up. And uh, this is a two minute chart you're looking at with an exponential moving average of uh, 28. And that's the yellow line you see here. The thing I liked about it was that it was holding above my 28 EMA on the two minute. And this is a pre and post market chart. And so we go ahead and we get the trigger, right? And it pushes up to, you know, 229. And then it starts to fall back against me. I lost um, six cents on this trade. But uh, the thing I want to stress here is that when you do get a trigger of whatever your trigger price is, and then that stock tries, starts coming back against you, okay, um, you know, you don't want to take more than a 10 cent hit on that stock, okay, because you're expecting follow through. And when you don't get that follow through, you have to be defensive. So on this trade, I lost uh, six cents and, um, you know, that was the start of my day. Then I moved on to CCCR. And I was, you know, everybody's been watching CCCR. If you can see from the um, the daily chart here, you know, you've had all these pops in CCCR right here, big volume here, okay, et cetera, the volume over here, the big pops. So this was on my radar also this morning. So why do you keep your losses small and, um, you know, are very defensive about your capital? Because uh, having taken a small loss on that uh, first trade, mm -hmm. Uh, that allowed me to move on to my second trade, which was CCCR. And, you know, you see this line right here. This was the entry point at the arrow over 251. Uh, jumped in this here and it pushed up all the way to uh, 308. And I got up to about, you know, 295 on this trade from 351. So, you know, up, uh, you know, 30 something cents for the day on a couple of trades. I traded a few others and um, so green for the day but the main thing that I want to stress is that when you're taking a, a trade in the morning on these gap trades or things that are in play you know if you do get that trigger okay and then they do trigger and they push up a little bit and they start to come back at you especially early you know your first couple of trades you want to get out of that and not take more than you know as more than a 10 cent hit okay you don't want to linger and stay there you can always play the stock again Okay, and um, so on that uh, M MTBC, right? We recovered from that and uh, took a, a, a six cent uh, loss on this one, but then came back and got a nice trade in CCCR and a nice push up on this one. So keep your losses small in the beginning. If you get your trigger price and it does trigger, moves up a bit, comes back at you, uh, make sure you're pulling, um, you know, uh, not taking more than a 10 cent hit on that uh, trade. This allows you to move on to another trade. And as you can see, you know, CCR uh, came back and, you know, made a solidly green for the day. All right, guys, thanks for listening. This is Zozo at Zozo uh, Stockwatch um, on Twitter and also Zozo Stockwatch on uh, Stock Twits. Thanks very much for listening and back to uh, trading and have a great day.